Hello and welcome. In this video, we'll see how to perform a one variable data table operation in our Excel spreadsheet. Um, so what we have here is uh, some information on the purchase price of a house and the down payment that a person is uh, willing to pay for the house, 20,000, and the prevailing interest rate, uh, which is a 12 month interest rate for the house. The repayment years refers to the number of years over which the house loan will be repaid, the mortgage will be repaid, and the number of payments that will be done in a year, which is 12, because uh, typically mortgages are repaid on a monthly basis. Now, these are all the inputs, and based on these, there are some outputs here. The amount borrowed is the difference between the cost of the house and the down payment. The monthly rate is the annual interest rate divided by the number of periods and the number of payment periods is the total number of months over which the payment will be made which is 15 years times 12 months per year which is 180 and based on that the monthly payment is calculated using the PMT function which is a function of the interest rate C11 um, monthly interest rate obviously and the number of periods C12 180 periods and the initial loan amount which is the negative of C10 180 thousand dollars and the payment the monthly payment as a result of these three values is uh, $1,331.44 and this is the total to repay loan which is the total amount that will be uh, uh, repaid by the borrower over the course of the entire 15 years and this here is the interest rate which is the to which is the interest amount that is repaid by the borrower over the 15 years which is part of the total amount here which is the difference between the total amount repaid and the loan value now with that introduction Let's assume that this borrower wishes to see how their borrowing amount and the monthly payment will vary based on different values of the repayment year. Okay, so we will do a data table for that. And let's say, uh, let's call it a one variable data table. And actually, let me just format this. Let me copy the format here and paste it here. Okay, now what we will do is uh, we will consider values from um, 10, 15, actually let me just type this here, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years, 25 years, and 30 years, 35 years, and 40 years. Okay, so for each of these values, we wish to create a data table of what will be the monthly payment, what will be the total to repay loan and total interest paid. Okay, so what we need to do then is to say that here we need to put in the monthly payment. So equals C13. Here we need to put in the total to repay loan. And here we put in the total interest paid. Okay and uh, so we have the basic information in place for our data table next what we need to do is to select this entire area here you need to select the entire rectangle the grid that includes all the elements in our column the years as well as the three different types of formulas for whom we wish to construct this data table and next you need to go to data what if analysis data table okay i just want to point out one little thing here sometimes um, this what if analysis may appear slightly different so that's only because um, your excel area work area may be larger in which case you will have something like this in either case you can just scroll down and click on data table what if analysis data table and you want to give a column input cell 
the column input cell is that cell whose values are being replicated here uh, in uh, in different ways so in this case the column input cell would be the repayment years 15 okay so that is c6 and click ok and as soon as you do that you have a data table here now what this data table gives you is for each value of this column input value 15 so if instead of 15 we chose 10 what would be our monthly payment what will be our total to repay loan and what will be our total interest paid okay and this is a simple data table we can make this a little bit more attractive by specifying these as headings but if you were to just type this as um, say if you just were to type this then you're going to get you know uh, incorrect values here so we cannot just do that so instead what we do is we select the cell go to home number and choose uh, custom value and uh, you can just scroll up all the way to the top go to general and here within course type in monthly payment within quotes click OK and now you have a nice heading for this so what's happening here is that we are only specifying a format so it's kind of like a mask for the data so even though Excel sees this value as a number it shows it to us as this heading value of monthly payment and you can bold it and here we could do a similar thing custom general and total repayment and I can bold this and likewise for here so that's a simple data table I hope you found this useful thanks for watching and please enjoy more videos on codable.com